Hi and welcome to Index Asia 2019 in Singapore. The International Maritime Defense Exhibition is now a leading event in the Asia-Pacific region. A big talking point this year is the MRCV. The Multirole Combat Vessel is an upcoming program for the Republic of Singapore Navy, calling for a surface combatant able to act as a model ship to deploy several unmanned systems. The Republic of Singapore Navy is yet to release its requirements for the MRCV program. However, local company ST Engineering and Holland's Diamond Shipyard both unveiled two new designs in relation to the MRCV program. Let's go check them out. For this year, we are launching the Vanguard 130 multi-row vessel. This is one of the five series of vessels that we have developed with one single de one design and multiple for multiple purpose, multiple capabilities. The Vanguard 130 multi-row vessel is a part of the series of five classes of vessels that we have designed with one single hull, multiple design and with multiple capabilities. This Vanguard 130 multi-row vessel is specifically designed to carry multiple main and unmanned off-board systems. It is 130 meter long, uh, with speed of about 28 knots, with a displacement of 5,000 tons. It is designed for both domestic and international market. The crossover is a uh, new uh, design which we have introduced to make the next step in um, what uh, frigates actually can bring in capabilities at sea. So making use of the flexibility of a, of a frigate design. Frigates um, are used to work autonomously uh, and we should make use of the flexibility of that uh, ship. So the crossover, um, this is uh, where we look here at the, at the uh, aft part of the, of the ship. And this is where we have derived the, sh uh, the name crossover from. Crossover means that the space below the helicopter deck is used in a maximum uh, way where we can load, uh, maintain and deploy all kinds of assets like boats but also unmanned uh, vehicles. And from the back via the slipway we can um, land and deploy uh, boats like CB90s. Uh, on the fly deck itself, it has a space for uh, two medium weight uh, helicopters. And then if we go forward, then uh, you look to the combat uh, part of the, of the ship. This is a, uh, an example uh, where we have uh, put some examples on the, on the ship, like a uh, 30 mm Millennium gun, the 127mm gun, surface to surface, surface to air weapons. On the ship itself, uh, we can embark about 200 people. So in addition to the crew of 125 people on this uh, 5,000 tons uh, ship, we can add about 200 uh, people, so embarked uh, forces, which we can deploy wherever is uh, required. Either for HADR missions, so rescue and supporting people, or for security and military uh, missions. The ship itself can do uh, speeds between the 21 and the 30 uh, knots, depending of course on the requirement of, of, uh, of, of a navy. We will offer this uh, crossover design as the MRSV uh, uh, requirement of uh, the Singapore Navy. Uh, 
uh, in, uh, in due time we will see the RFP and then we will offer the, the crossover. In addition to the Vanguard 130 series, ST Engineering also unveiled several new technologies. Uh, besides Vanguard 130, we have launched a Super Ship series this year, which is mainly for cost surveillance and security operations. These vessels are very high speed vessels going beyond 60 knots. Here we have introduced a new hull form, which is known as a cavity hull, which gives you a good uh, right comfort because of the reduced motions. So these vessels are also able to respond very fast with a high acceleration and very short crash stop distances. So these are the main features of this uh, Super Ship series. So what we show here is integrated ship bridge simulator. So what we have here is actually the ship control navigations. We also have our engineering page where we can conduct training on the engineering and we also have our command control portions here. So why we call it integrated is because today we actually can train navigation, command control and engineering in a single setup environment. So to enhance the setup itself, we also have VR for training purposes. We can do a coordinate training be between the gunner itself and actually the control of the ship. So they have to communicate with each other to move the ship and to handle small track. So the benefit of having everything into one integrator is that, that you can train the team coordinations because, like I say, uh, um, most of the time it's the, within the people, how do we handle the messages, communications and, and handle the events. So in the integrator environment, you train both the engineer in the engineering page the commanders handling the warfare and the navigation that's the sailors that are sailing to have a combined missions and how do you communicate with each other. So what we have here is the console that we have uh, designed in-house and implemented and installed on uh, one of the ships. So what we have here is a portal system that we have done for today. How we have applied data analytics into the maritime sector. Now we see we have many, many tracks, many, many vessels. Then the question comes in, how then do we identify whether any of them are legal or illegal? We're trying to find out the unknowns. And what are the unknowns? Like relationship, um, vessel who has been sailing for the past six months on a certain route, suddenly it goes to Philippines and then it comes down to our border. So the system allows us to identify anomalous vessels in a timely manner. Coupled with AI, we can then begin to predict vessel trajectory even without EIS. And we have launched this portal a few weeks ago, a soft launch. So today, we are here for everyone to take a look and give us some feedback. It is uh, on the cloud and it's a substitution model. We are now at Shengi Naval Base to get aboard the helicopter destroyer Izumo. It is the flagship and largest vessel of the JMSDF fleet. We are in the main hangar of Izumo. Behind me you can see two SH-60K anti-submarine helicopter. In case of missions, the ship can carry up to 14 helicopters. There are several blast doors inside the hangar. In case of damage control, they can be used to shut off some areas of the hangar. We are now on board the main elevator on the Izumo. It can carry one SH-60 helicopter with its blades completely unfolded so that it may take off more rapidly. The first elevator is located in the middle of the flight deck and the second one is on the side. For self-protection, Izumo is fitted with four closing weapon systems or series. Two rams and two phalanxes. Two located at the bow forward and two located aft. We are now on the flight deck of Izumo. There are five helicopter spots for SH-60 maritime helicopters. Izumo has a crew complement of about 470 sailors.
We are now inside the bridge of Izumo. During navigation, there are five to seven sailors manning the bridge. We are now inside the flight bridge of Izumo. This is where the helicopter operations are controlled.